I really didn't mean it. When I stood upon that snail and squished its insides inside out and squashed its slimy tail. It really was an accident. I'm sure you will agree. I simply didn't see that snail, but that poor snail saw me. One minute I was stepping down and stepped from our back door, expecting not to find a snail a snoozing on the floor. Twas only when I felt that squish and heard its inside pop, I realized I'd squished a snail. It gave me quite a hop. I quickly knelt down on one knee beside that snoozing snail and saw its inside squishing out its flattened, slimy tail. I'm sure I heard a little groan. I know I would have too if somebody had stood on me with their big size four shoe. The snail looked up with one sad eye, the other popped right out. It looked just like a marble as it rolled all round about. The poor squished snail lay shivering. He looked a dreadful sight. If he could see himself right now, he'd get an awful fright. I'm done for, cried the little snail, all squishy, squashed and sore. You've squished my insides inside out with your big shoe, size four. A slimy tear rolled down his cheek and slithered on my shoe. I racked my brains and tried to think, just what was I to do? Hold on, I said, don't move an inch. Stay right there where you lie. I'm off to get my sewing kit. I'll make sure that you don't die. Now, I don't know if you have tried to sew a snail together, but I can tell you that the skin is tougher than old leather. I stuck the needle in and out. It must have been quite sore. For very soon, the snail cried out, Please don't stick me no more. The little fellow whimpered, and he sounded so pathetic. Before you sew another stitch, I want an anesthetic. A leaf of lettuce calmed him down. It seemed to do the trick, and as he munched, it seemed to me to dull the needle's prick. I sewed and sewed the whole night through, till every stitch was sewn, and all the insides were inside, just where they should belong. Ten heads of lettuce he went through, to help to dull the pain. My daddy's lovely lettuce patch will never look the same. The sun rose up, he slithered off. We both said our goodbye. It wasn't until later on I found his popped out eye. I put it in the freezer, hoping he'd come back once more, when I'd be careful not to squish him with my shoe size four.